y'all. Hey guys, it's your girl Phoenix Fire. How you all doing? You alright? Okay, um, so it's the big event, the anniversary card. So, um, yeah, so sorry y'all, it's two o'clock, almost two o'clock in the morning. So, EK and Loso just had their battle, so that was the first battle on. So, I just watched that battle, decent battle. Um, it was all right. I feel like EK did better than I thought he was gonna do. He started off really well. I didn't write any bars down, nothing, guys. It's mad late, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I literally had to have a cup of tea and everything. I can stay up, man. It's not easy. So late. Um, but it was a good battle. I enjoyed the battle. I feel like I gave them just gonna quick summary because I think another battle starting soon. Yeah, Danny Mars versus Jerry West is about to start. It was quite good. Um, I gave it to Loso to second and third rounds. That third of his was fire. Didn't write down any bars or anything, guys. But um, yeah, they started off. They both started off pretty well. I feel like Loso was stopping a lot in his first round. I feel like he was stopping in his first round, but I think it's because of the crowd. Like because of not a crowd, but for, I think it was like maybe he was waiting for a reaction or because people were reacting to that. But um, he had a lot of energy. They were definitely talking to each other. He definitely um attacked him personally as well i mean ek had an angle about where loso was from and stuff but i don't think anyone's ever really cared or pulled it up where's loso from like so i don't really feel like that angle hit to be honest with you but it is what it is um loso was loso do you know what i'm saying like he was good throughout had bars he had energy you know exactly what was expected i feel like this battle gave us what we was expecting from it um yeah so that was it. Just a really quick summary, but it was a it was a decent battle. It was alright, you know. <laughs> I'm excited for the next battle though. Um Danny Myers versus Jerry West. So let's see how that's gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna try and just do the recap as soon as I watch it, y'all. Because if I say let me wait till tomorrow, I might forget some stuff. Well it's already tomorrow, if you know what I mean, but yeah. So I'm just gonna do it as I watch it and that. And compile the things together and then just post it hopefully so let's see how it goes though but um i think that's it let me go watch the other battle and i'll let you know what i feel or how i feel like it went okay all right bye okay hi guys all right so um danny versus jerry west just finished so the battle just happened okay interesting hmm Danny Myers, man. What happened? What happened, Danny? <laughs> man, you done messed up my damn prediction. <laughs> well, basically, Danny lost. You got 30, Danny. I mean, I predicted not that. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened, man. <sighs> okay, so first round... Um, Danny started off. He did good. He did good. He did good. I mean, it was good. He had the, is it the Mike Myers, Michael Myers outfit, whoever, the Halloween guy, or is it Jason? I think it's Michael Myers. Yeah, Michael Myers. Um, I like the outfit. I like all that. I like the dramatics. Um, sometimes when people do that in battle rap, do you know what I'm saying? Um, the outfit was dope and all that, but. Mm -mm. Basically, man, <laughs> what, what, what am I gonna say? <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to start. All right, let me go back. Let me, let me. It is a bit late. Sorry. So Danny started off. I thought that like, he had his first round was decent. It was okay. He had a nice bar. I didn't write any bars down, but it was something. It was the thirty-first bar. I something about Smack said he's gonna give me my money, but. I gotta get that 31st, like it's 31st. It was nice. It might not don't quote me, it might not have been exactly like that, but something like that. You get you get you get the drift. It was nice. He had a lot of not a lot of love, but there was a, a couple of decent things in that first round, okay? So I'm thinking, okay, Danny, let's go, let's go. Then Jerry went. Jerry had bars, bars, man. Mad there's a lot of quotables, okay? It's a bit late. I didn't write anything down, but trust me, Jerry had a lot of quotables this whole battle. A lot of quotables. Like Sexo, um, he's already won up in the first round. Jerry West won up. Like then, um, second round, 
then he went, you know, it was going, everything was going well, it was all right, it was all right, but then he choked. Then he choked, man. That was definitely a clear choke, at least a minute and a half. But I'm glad you got it back, because he got it back and he carried on. Um, so I think it's better, if you, even if you choke, just get it back. At least then we still can judge your material, but we can't forget that choke. You know what I'm saying? Major. So that round was already lost, you know. Um, he brought it back. I mean, he got it back in the end. But Jerry West's second round was fire. No chokes, no stumbles. So he got the second round already. You know, so I thought... But then people can debate that first and second. I mean, someone could have given Danny that first round. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I gave it to Jerry, though. Uh, I gave Jerry the second. Not just on default, because you choked. His, his second was nice. Do you know what I'm saying? And he didn't choke. Third round, same, same thing again. Pure fire from Jerry. Like, you know what I mean? Sorry, Jerry. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I apologise because you did really good. That You had bars, do you know what I'm saying? And you beat him clearly, you know? Um, is what it is, you know? The thing is, Jerry West has always had bars, but I felt there was something missing. And I do try and go hard for Danny. Do you know what I mean? I feel like Danny Myers is a great rapper and he should be further ahead than he is. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I always try to go hard for Danny and I know that he can rap because he's a bar guard. Do you know what I'm saying? But... This battle, Danny, was not, not the one for you, man, for real. Like, you did not win this battle. Jerry West won clearly. So shout out to Jerry West. That was fire. And I feel like this this battle will be a good one for um to do a bar breakdown. I'm not doing one day, y'all, but hopefully shout out to the people that do the a bar breakdown. I don't know, maybe I would do one because I feel like there was a lot of nice bars in this battle. Even though, like, Danny lost, he still said a lot of nice stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? A lot of nice stuff. Um... Like a couple of bars when he was talking about like he's a scammer, some scammer lines he had that was nice. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, there was a Visine bar as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Was, was that Jerry or Danny? Well, it was fire anyway. It was fire. We'll go watch it back. Um, man, it's bad all that, man. Anything can happen, you know that. Anything can happen, though. So, yeah, clearly Jerry won this battle. That's it, really. Um, the next battle, hold on, have they announced it? But obviously, I'm assuming it's going to be Bida and Holmesy. It's 20 past 2 in the morning. So, I think Bida and Holmesy's next, though. Um, and then the big one, Mook versus Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? I ain't sleeping today. I got to watch this battle, y'all. <laughs> got to see how it goes, you know? This is the one. But, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for Bida versus Holmesy because I don't know how this is going to go. Do you know what I mean? I predicted for um, Bida to take this battle, but... You never know. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, let's see how it goes, isn't it? So, yeah. Jerry won. 3-0. Uh, you could debate the first round for Danny, you know? All right, that's it. Let me go watch the next battle now. It's going to start soon, all right? Is she going Phoenix Fire? I'll be back shortly. Bye. Hey, y'all. Um, okay, so... Uh, beat up versus Holmesy just happened. Okay. Dope, dope. This was a good battle, man. This was a good battle. I enjoyed it. It was a bar fest, no doubt. No doubt. It's three o'clock in the morning now. Um, I'm still here, active. Um, yeah, so... Damn. This battle. Interesting. So, Holmesy started off. Did he start first? Yeah. Holmesy, I feel like you rapped so long, man. Damn. What's going on? Sometimes I feel like if a round is more than about three, four minutes, man, I start to zone out, to be honest with you, unless you're Lux. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> if you're not Lux, don't do it, innit? Only God knows how long this Mook round is going to be, you know. Mook and Tay Rock is up next, y'all. But let's see anyway. I didn't like, don't like it when Mook does it either, to be honest with you. Unless you're luck. I don't want to hear no 10 minute round. Mook, uh, Holmes, your first round was like extremely long. Do you know what I mean? Like, and, um, but he started off okay. I was thinking, okay, okay, Holmesy. That was okay. That was solid. He didn't choke anything in that first round. It was fine. Then B that started rapping. And I was like, uh oh. Levels. <laughs> the levels is showing. <laughs> it's really hard to rap. rap. 
um, they're getting speed up, man. It's hard. You know what I mean, out rapping speed up is very difficult, man. You know, like he rightfully said, he's up there with the luxes and the daylights. You know what I'm saying? Like that pen is crazy. So yeah, Holmesy, that first round he didn't get the first round. B Dot got that first round clear. I was just like, I even tweeted like, leave that boy alone. Like, <laughs> uh, rap wise, man, B Dot definitely outshone him in that. I felt Holmes. I felt like your first was way too long. It really was. He took the angle that um, you know B Dot is like a fake. Um, just that kind of angle that people use with Bida, that, you know, he, he, he had a scholarship and that, and he, he used to talk, he used to do gun bars and stuff, and he's just fake, he's not real with his um, whole power to my people type of movement, you know, that kind of angle. So, um, but a lot of people use that with Bida, you know, so I don't know how successful that is really. But, um, yeah, so Bida, after Bida, when so B dot was already up one no from that first round to me to me and then the second round Holmesy halfway through I was like what is Holmesy rapping about you rapped for so long I feel like your second was even longer honestly honestly Holmesy okay I know you had a lot to say okay you did and you were talking to him you said a lot it's not like he was trash he was not trash in any way but it's just it was so long that I started to be like, what are you talking about? It's not like I didn't catch the bars or nothing. But that's the thing. You weren't really punching. Not that you have to punch, but I just don't think uh, it was hitting like that, if I'm honest with you. b Duck came through the fire in that second round again. Um, just levels again, I'm sorry. I didn't write anything down, obviously. It's really late and I'm just I'm tired as well. Barfest, anyway. Let's just see. You know what I'm saying? Bida has so much. There's just a lot to decipher after, like, he raps. You know, he had a lot. Um, why was he trying to. Anyway, he had a lot. He had a lot. Um, hold on. So now that third round though, Holmesy, that's when he really stepped up. I feel like Holmesy was talking to Bida a lot in that third round. I like Holmesy's third a lot, you know. Definitely. He he had a lot to say. He addressed B Dots like you know, he's uh, all pro black, but he's never you know, just a lot of stuff that he's done. Oh, oh yeah, and, and the whole situation with like um oops and stuff, you know, he said a lot. It was a very powerful third round. Y'all gotta check out that third. That was a deep third round, you know what I'm saying? Like, and after the third round, I feel like maybe he hit a nerve with B-Dot, but B-Dot was kind of pissed off after that third. Like, he looked kind of pissed off, you know? I think he rebuttaled the beginning, at the beginning of his third. Yeah, um, he rebuttaled a few of the things that Hornby said. But B-Dot's third was crazy, man. B-Dot was talking to his soul. I literally feel that B-Dot edged every round, if I'm honest with you. If I'm going to give any round, I'm giving Holmes that third round. If I'm going to give you a round, Holmesy. But I still feel like um, like Bida edged it. His, Bida's third was powerful. Very powerful, you know, as well. So, in fact, not as well. It was extremely powerful. He talked about a lot of personal things, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's being a black man raising his daughters, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, it was powerful, man, you know what I'm saying? It was one of those third rounds, you know? So, um, b -Dot got this to me 3-0, 3-0, I, I really feel like that. If I'm going to give you a round, I'll give you the third Holmesy, but it was clear, you know. Well, Holmesy wasn't trash or anything. Uh, I think he, did he have a stumble? I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. If it was like a little slight stumble or something, but anyway. Yeah, but he still did good though. I feel like he changed the way he rapped a little bit as well, you know. But he had a lot to address. He addressed uh, Bida a lot. He said a lot, you know. If you listen to what he was saying, it's quite deep. This, this battle was pretty... I think this was a really good battle, man. This was a good battle. This was a good battle so far. Um, yeah, I enjoyed this battle the most so far. I haven't seen Mook versus Table. That's up next. So I'm looking forward to that. Murder Moot versus Taylor because it's just been announced, so yeah. Let's get it.
This is the one, y'all. Let's check it out. See what's going to happen. How long this Mook's mm -hmm. round's going to be. And what gun bar is Taylor going to bring for Mook? Or how's it going to go? <laughs> so let me go check it out. And I'll be back with another summary. Okay? If you go Phoenix Fire. I'm out. Hey, y'all. Okay. So I've just finished watching... Um, the final match, Luke versus Taylor. That was crazy, man. It's 4.20 in the morning, so I'm so knackered, man. I've got to go to bed after this, y'all. That was a crazy battle, you know. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> Battle Rap is so dope. You just never know how things are going to go. Okay, so so we started off with um Mook started off the battle from first round and that. I mean Mook's first round was okay. It was it was decent. It was decent. I mean he had a couple of OBC bars, but I mean I'm used to this with Mook. He did have a blind, something about you fitted for this new era, you all cap. It's like come on Mook, please. But anyway, I'll let it slide. You know? Um I felt, but his his first was solid. His first was solid. He was talking to, I mean, he was talking to Rock, man. He talks about Briz. He talks about Rock being a snake and stuff. You know what I'm saying? He addressed a lot of things in that first round, you know? Um, okay, so then Rock went next. Like, so Rock's first round. Now, Rock started off, it started off decent as Rock, you know what I'm saying? He did have a lot of energy, but I feel like Rock was rapping different. In this, in his first round, he wasn't being rock, you know. Um, I mean, he's still Tay Rock, but he wasn't rapping like Tay Rock, you know. He wasn't like, you know, it's for real. So I feel like his energy was a little bit like Mook's energy might have been a bit more in that first round, you know. Uh, but that first round is very debatable. I mean, you could debate it, but I didn't like necessarily like the way Tay Rock was rapping because I feel like that's not the Tay Rock that I'm used to, you know. And the second round came along now, so, hold on, let's see. Do you know what, that second round was actually really good, but definitely Tayrock got that second round. Now, Tayrock came back in the second round. That was a Tayrock I'm used to, do you know what I mean? Energy was way high. Um, the bars was there, the, you know, the aggression, everything. Oh, yeah, in that first round, I was going to say, man, Tayrock was spitting. And I'm talking literally, I could see the spit flying onto Meek's face. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, like, but, um, yeah, the second round was dope, dope second round from Taylor, exactly what I expected, like, you know, it was fire, um, uh, Taylor clearly got that second round, Mook was, was okay, he was also fire in the second round, there was a lot of the very creative wordplay, do you know what I mean, Mook was lyrical in this battle, I reckon, he did good, but Taylor really shone in that second round, you know what I mean, it was, Tay Rock, Tay Rock, cooking, let's write down cooking, um, now, it really, to me, I feel like, it was this third, man, this is the one, I definitely gave Tay Rock that second round, that first round could have gone to e either or, to be honest with you, but I feel like Tay Rock wasn't rapping like himself, so the third round come along now, I mean, so this is the one, dun dun dun, what's gonna happen, so me starts rapping now, do you know what I'm saying, I have to say this whole battle it was it was like a it's like a story, like a movie. It's almost like I wasn't even trying to I forgot I just wanted to hear what the content, if that makes sense, you know. Not necessarily their rapping ability, if that makes sense. But that's important too. So uh damn, this third round was deep. Mook said a lot. Mook said a lot in this third round, man. Um yeah, he talked about his chain, he talked about a lot. He brought up the, the tranny angle, gave us some uh, quotables, or he literally recited what he said he heard from the alleged um, phone call or whatever. You know, y'all know the backstory. So that was kind of deep. Do you know what I'm saying? That was deep. It was one of those deep rounds. Like, you know, he had, he was just, he was just saying a lot. Um,. Uh, he had he had bars as well in it as well. He had not just that he had bars. I like it when he said, uh, "I get paid to rehearse now." That's what you call a sound check. 
Uh, they had a lot of bars in there. Um, damn, that third was deep. And Meek's third was fire. You know what I mean, no debating. Fire, fire, fire. Um, third round. And it's almost like, man, can what beat this third round? Just, in, just to the impact. I, I, I still feel like. You know what I mean? Anyway, just the impact of the third. So basically, after Mook finished rapping, it was, it's Tay Rock's turn to go next. I feel like I was still thinking about Mook's third round. I was still thinking about just everything he just said and the way he set everything up. You know what I mean? It was a very powerful third. He addressed the situation as well when um, Rock talked about his mum and stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that he lost. So... It was definitely a very powerful round, and you can see that he was rapping with a lot of passion, you know, so it was deep, it was deep. I gave Mook that third round, though, clearly. Hold on, let me see how they even called it. I'm not really going with any of the votes, I'm just telling you a lot who I think won. I'm not even checking to see who they voted, but I think, I don't even know who they voted, but, you know. I need to know who actually who they voted for this battle. I have been looking at them for Rock first and second, Mook got third, Mook 3 0, Mook 1. A lot of people say Mook 1 and stuff. Um, You're going to have to watch the battle yourself to decide, do you know what I mean? But I know for a fact I gave Tay Rock the second round and I gave Mook the third round. Um, It's really late, so I need to go and watch it one more time. But um, I feel like the consensus is people are going with Mook. I didn't see the final um, score yet, I'm not sure, so make, make up your own mind though, so you have to watch it. I need to go and watch, um, not right now, I'm tired, but I'll watch it again. Like that first round, is, I feel like it will ride on that first round, do you know what I mean? So I need to go and actually listen to the, all the bars that were said in the first, because I feel like that's where it rides on. Mook did a lot better than I thought, yeah. you know how, you already know. <laughs> How I thought this was gonna go, but he did a lot. So when you rap with passion, there's a difference, you know what I mean? He rapped with a lot of passion. You could tell this meant a lot to him, you know? Definitely. Um, but so did Tay Rock. And I, I do feel like some of the angles that, that Mook used worked, you know what I mean? Like when he talked about Tay Rock, he talked about <clears throat> like his contact lenses and stuff, like like his this year leader and stuff about putting contacts in your eyes and stuff. I feel like that angle kind of hit. Because um, if you wear contacts, you know it's it's kind of fussy, it's annoying having to like, put your eyes down and put the, the lenses in and stuff. Uh, so visually, like, I feel like the angle hit. He had a lot of different angles, though, that kind of worked out for him. But he also had some, Mook had some OBC bars, you know, to be honest with you. But not ridiculous amount he was still very creative in his raps you know what i mean you can still see the levels though still see the levels very he was lyrical in this man now i understand when when daylight said mook's rounds are kind of painful they're, they're gonna be painful because that third round was a lot he said you know <clears throat> but this is tay rock man i feel like he clearly edged that second round you know what i mean so i need to go and see did you get that i don't feel like he got the third to me he to me, he did it. Do you know why? Because when he was rapping his third, I feel like I was thinking about Mook's, what Mook just said. Do you know what I mean? So I think it's, it will be based on if you think he got that first or not. So if I'm honest, it is mad late though. So I'm going to obviously watch all the battles again and that and double check everything. But yeah, it was it was a really good battle, man. They saved the best for last. No, was this the battle of the night? I'm not sure. I gotta think about it. It's really late, y'all, so you know. Forgive me. But it was a good battle. It was, this was a good event, you know. I'm gonna go now. I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go think about this battle, man. For real. <laughs> I gotta go think about this battle. Because Tabak was saying a lot in the third as well, you know. I gotta go. I gotta watch it again. I gotta watch it again. That, that, that nah. Y'all watch it and tell me what you think. Tell me what you lot think. Nah. 
Nah, Moon got that third. Moon definitely got that third. It was a bit too powerful, mate. A bit too powerful. Do you know what I mean? Moot did good. I was impressed with Moot this battle. Shout out to Moot, man. Fire. You know what I mean? I'm always impressed with Tay Rock, but Moot was firing this. No doubt. I gotta go, y'all. Let me get some rest, alright? Hopefully, I'm gonna try and post this just before I fall asleep. But let's see how it goes. If not, I'll post it tomorrow. Alright. That's my summary of this dope anniversary event. And it was fire. It was good. It was good. Hope you all enjoyed my review slash recap type of thing. Um, yeah. That's it. Don't forget to, uh, you know, subscribe and thumbs this up if you enjoyed it. And join the notification gang, okay? I gotta go. You should go Phoenix Fire. I'm out.